Uh, Speaker Boehner, you've also said that you think these conventions should be shortened and that there's no need to have these conventions uh, to be three days, especially when they're not contested, really contested affairs. Now, I know some of the Ron Paul people would disagree. They, th- they believe it is a contested uh, convention and that they think they've been ripped off here. But uh, what of that shortening it? I mean, is there any other sentiment for, have, for doing that, especially in times of fiscal austerity? Well, you know, there's been a conversation about this going on now for the last couple of conventions, uh, both Democrats and Republicans, because they're very expensive uh, propositions. Uh, they cost an awful lot of money that needs to be raised that uh, could go into the campaign. Uh, but I think that conversation will continue. Uh, but with regard to uh, the Ron Paul folks, listen, we had a very open process. Uh, the committees did their work. Uh, there wasn't sufficient support for a recorded vote. And an overwhelming majority of the convention supported the nomination of Mitt Romney. Uh, so we're excited about uh, Mitt being our next president. And we're going to continue to work uh, with Ron Paul's folks uh, to make sure that, uh, that they're included in our process. Yeah, I mean, I was getting t- yeah, tweets and emails that you know, the rules were changed and they weren't able to be heard, and and uh, they, they're they ticked off. I mean, I know there's a lot of glossed over a lot of this and it's a lot of the coverage, but a lot of these people are really angry. Well, I don't uh, I don't understand because all on all the committees, whether it was the platform committee, the credentials committee, uh, they were represented, uh, they were heard. And I frankly think that uh, the process was as open and as fair as you could make it. We're talking to John Boehner, Speaker of the House. Speaker Boehner.